Hello everyone. Today we are going to see transpose of a matrix. The matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of any given matrix is the transpose of that matrix. If we have given matrix A, its transpose is denoted by this letter, a transpose or this A dash. Now, if we have given matrix A, this A I J of order m by n then its transpose is given by this a j i of order n by m now we can take example here if we have matrix a we want its transpose so what we have to do we have to interchange the rows and columns so here we have this is first row so we will write this is as a column. Now next we have here second row. We will write this is as a second column. So what we have done? We have written here first row as a first column. Then next row as a second column. Matrix A transpose is obtained by interchanging rows and columns. Now we can take another matrix P this is so what will be its transpose we will get the matrix of order 2 by 3 this is here so similarly we can take another matrix if we have matrix I this is the unit matrix of order 3 by 3 so what will be its transpose? So you can observe that that is its original matrix I. We have changed here rows in columns. This is first row, first column, first, second row, second column, third row, third column. Next we have symmetric matrix. A symmetric matrix A is a square matrix such that a transpose is equal to A. It is a square matrix for which we have A transpose is equal to A. This matrix can also be defined as the matrix A for which we have Aij is equal to Aji for all I and J. Now we can take LM matrix here. This is if we have matrix A having these elements now we will find its transpose how to find transpose we have to change rows in columns so first row in first column second row in second column so observe that we got here a is equals to a transpose so here this A is a symmetric matrix. So what we got here? We got A is equals to A transpose. So again we can check that here Aij is equals to Aji. Now observe that this is here A13 is equals to A31. So this matrix A is a symmetric matrix. Now we can take another example. If we have matrix B of order 3. Now remember that it is a square matrix. So what will be its transpose? We will write these rows into columns. So first we will write first row in first column. Next second row in second column next third row in third column so just check this here we got two equal matrix so here we have b is equals to b transpose so we have to say that 
B is a symmetric matrix. So, what we have here, this is, we can check that here. A12 is equals to A21. Then, A13, A13, this is A31. This is, and what? This is what? A23 is equals to A32. So, this matrix B is a symmetric matrix for which we have Aij is equals to Aji. So, next we have to see skew symmetric matrix. It is also called as a anti-symmetric matrix. A skew symmetric matrix is a square matrix A such that for matrix A we have A transpose is equals to negative of the matrix A. Thus, A is a skew symmetric if we have Aij is equals to minus Aji for all I and J. Now, if we have to write skew symmetric matrix, now we will write here put j is equals to i for getting diagonal elements. So, we will get here aii is equals to minus aii. So, by solving this, we get here aii is equals to 0 for all i. What is this? aii are a diagonal elements. Now, for a skew symmetric matrix, diagonal elements are always 0. So, we can take one example here. If we have matrix A, this is diagonal elements are 0 and this non-diagonal elements. Now, check that here. If we have matrix a, if we want A transpose, what will be its A transpose? Now, this is a symmetric matrix. For this, we got here A, A is equals to A transpose. We will get symmetric matrix. But we want skew symmetric matrix. So, what we will write here? We will write A is equals to, this is minus of this now observe that here what is here 0 first row in first column second row in second column now what is we here we have this is A transpose is equals to negative of A so, thus A is a skew symmetric matrix now check that here, for this matrix A, we have here Aij is equals to Aji. This is, and for this matrix, we have Aij is equals to minus Aji. This is, what is here? A12 is equals to minus of A21. Now, we will check symmetric matrix of order 3 by 3. Here we have one example of order 3 by 3. Here matrix B, we will find its transpose. How to find its transpose? We will write all rows in column. This is next row in next column. Third row in third column. So, we can check that here B transpose is equals to here minus of B and this is Aij is equals to Aji for, for all I and J. That means if we have this is A 
is equals to a13. a31 is equals to a13. Then and that is negative. Next, here we have a21 is equals to minus a12. Similarly, what we have? This is a32 is equals to minus a23. And all diagonal elements are 0. This is what a11 is equals to a22 is equals to a33 is equals to 0. This is necessary condition for a skew symmetric matrix. All diagonal elements are 0. So, what we have seen here for symmetric matrix, we have here a transpose is equals to a and a i j is equals to a j i. This is for symmetric matrix. And next, what we have for skew symmetric matrix, we have here a transpose is equals to minus a and a j i is equals to so this is a i j is equals to minus a j i and all diagonal elements are 0 then this is skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix ok so when we have a transpose is equals to a that means this implies this one when we have a transpose is equals to minus a, that means this implies this is. So, this is all about symmetric matrix and skew symmetric matrix. So, this is here we have seen symmetric matrix and skew symmetric matrix. Thank you.